works, Kraft Burgers and Beer is ready to open its downtown Oakville patio and customers are ready to sit there. Our guests, every time they come by, they say, well, can I just get a takeout order and come, just come sit on the patio, it's right here. You have the tables, you have the chairs. And we say, unfortunately, we are not allowed to based off government regulations. So yes, our guests are clamoring to be able to come back and eat on the patios. This is Friday lunchtime. As you said, it's 30 degrees out here. We would be COVID appropriately packed is that we would only be, you know, our guests would be six feet apart and they would be the same household. Based on the province's reopening estimates yesterday, it will be mid-June before restaurants can serve people on patios again and it will be September before they can serve people again inside. The works president, Bruce Miller, sits on the board of Restaurants Canada. Across Canada, we've seen over 10,000 closures so to date. And that number, unfortunately, is a climbs each and every week. Every week that we delay is thousands of more people that we're putting out of work. The restaurant industry, as a reminder, employs one in four Canadians. He says restaurants can't survive on takeout and delivery. Fees are high and packaging costs have doubled. Customers like Jason Rossett say it doesn't make sense. I just came from New York City and I was there for a couple months and um, they were hit hard as well, but everything was working fine. There was no bad vibe like there's been here for a long time. Everything's fully open, as you probably have heard. So I don't see why we can't have that kind of a, you know, um, working society here as well. For others, like 10-year-old Madison Wong, staying safe and waiting a little longer are manageable. It's not the worst thing in the world, so it's still fine with me, but whatever can just get me through COVID, I'm good with it. But Bruce Miller says the province is lagging. In Ontario, we are not going to be open on our patios before Quebec is opened for dine-in again. And he says it would help if federal rent and wage subsidies were extended until next year. As it stands, they are set to expire right when restaurants are expected to reopen indoor dining. Lisa Hefner, CHCH News.